Feminist Perspective. Feminism is a struggle to end sexist oppression by Cheryl D. Elsberry, Lindsay Burton, Shakira Taylor, and Devin Young. What is the feminist theory? Analyze the status of women and men in society with the purpose of using that knowledge to better women's lives. Feminism is political, cultural, or economic movement aimed at establishing equal rights and legal protection for women. Who developed the theory? Seneca Falls, New York is said to be the birthplace of American feminism. The origin of the feminist movement are found in the abolitionist movement of the 1830s. Elizabeth Cady Stanton and Lucretia Moth spearheaded the first women's rights convention in Seneca Falls, New York in 1848. The convention brought in more than 300 people. The discussion was focused on the social, civil, and religious conditions of women. Who developed the theory? The convention led to the Declaration of Sentiment, modeled after the Declaration of Independence. All men and women created equal. Spoke of the supremacy of men in regards to divorce and education. The convention marked a 22-year battle to gain women the right to vote in the United States. In 1920, women won the right to vote. In Germany, the feminists were fighting for the right of women to engage in sexual relations regardless of marital or legal consideration. History Charles Fourier, a utopian socialist French philosopher, is credited with having coined the word feminism in 1837. The words feminism and feminist first appeared in France in the Netherlands in 1872, Great Britain in the 1890s, United States in the 1910s, Oxford English Dictionary lists 1894 as the year of the first appearance of feminists and 1895 for feminism. Feminist Perspective, the Approach of Feminist Psychology Summary. Number one, brief introduction. The proposition of feminist psychologists is that psychology is anthrocentric. Example would be focus on men's experiences. Number two, brief history of the feminist movement. First wave, starting with the enlightenment and accumulated in voting rights for women and also legal recognition. Second wave. At the fore in the 1960s, getting full social and economic equality. Third wave, post-feminism. The equality of women can be assumed. However, in most cultures viewed as Western colonialism. Feminist theories go. Feminist theories aim to understand the nature of gender inequality. It examines women's social roles, experience, interest in feminist politics in a variety of fields, such as anthropology and sociology, communication, psychoanalysis, economics, literature, education, and philosophy. While generally providing a critique of social relations, much of feminist theory also focuses on analyzing gender inequality and the promotion of women's interests. Feminist researchers focus. Feminist researchers embrace four key themes. First, focus on the condition of women in society oppression. Secondly, their research must be grounded in the assumption that women generally experience subordination. Third, commitment to ending the unjust subordination. Fourth, a futuristic vision of equality. There are different types of feminists. Liberal feminists believe gender should not be a barrier since men and women are endowed with the same rational and spiritual capacities. They also believe in ending sex discrimination and challenging sex stereotype. Social feminists believe women are oppressed by capitalism. They also believe that focus is on redefining capitalism in relation to women's work. Radical feminists insist the oppression of women is fundamental. 
radical feminists also believe the current patriarchal system must be eliminated. And also, men's use of rape and violent to violate women. Social worker with client on the feminist perspective. Feminist social workers emphasize the collaborative relationship between the social worker and the client and place an emphasis on equality and empowerment of women in our society. Some techniques or approaches. Feminism and the gender conflict approach. One important type of conflict analysis is the gender conflict approach. A point of view that focuses on inequality and conflict between men and women. The gender conflict approach is closely linked to feminism the advocacy for social equality for men and women. How and with whom can this perspective be used? This perspective is used best for men and women, the gender conflict approach. An example of the gender conflict approach would be men that are abusive to women and women that are abusive to men. Who benefits the most from this perspective? Women benefit more from the feminist perspective, but men also are included to help change the way men view women. This is relevant to almost everything in a society driven by patriarchy, male chauvinism, and male sexist bias. This is to be constituents of and critical towards the domination of men by their male counterparts at home at the workplace, in the streets, as regards to property rights, rights to education, rights to justice, and others. Continue. The feminist perspective is not meant for women alone, but at the immediate social level, women should come up with more awareness to combat all indignities, inequalities huddled upon them, and work towards empowerment of women in social, economic, cultural demands. This concludes our presentation on the feminist perspective. Thank you.